Cell Culture Lab in Mansoura Research Center for Cord Stem Cell. Can you hear me, Aisha? Professor Aisha? Yes, yes, you're audible. Oh. I'm starting. Corneal ulcer is a corneal epithelium defect with or without involvement of surrounding stroma due to different causes like mechanical, chemical, trauma, eye drops, eye, dry eye, neurotropic disorders, and corneal infection. The resistant corneal ulcer are challenged more than more, more, more than two weeks are challenging to heal and may result in vision loss due to inflammation, infection, corneal thinning, corneal scarring, and opacification. Generally, corneal wound healing is mediated by growth factor, such fibroblast growth factor, epidermal growth factor, and platelet derived growth factor. Platelet derived growth factor, which induce corneal epithelium cell migrations, proliferations, and differentiation. Initially, autologous platelet rich plasma was used to treat corneal injuries, but recently, allogenic preparations has been favored. Cord blood PRP has therapeutic advantage over other PRP as cord blood PRP contain higher level of anti-inflammatory molecules. Cord blood PRP contains variety of growth factors, cytokines, and other immunomodulatory factors that can act on proliferation, differentiation, and function of both immune and other cells such as fibroblast cells. Cord blood PRP also contain albumin, transferrin, cyprinectin, fibrinogen, minerals, adiponectin, vitamin A, vitamin E, several fatty acids and platelets, which contributing as trophic factors in wound healing mechanism of epithelial cells of cornea and its stromal tissue. The rationale for utilizing platelets instead of other cells, this is due to Platelets serve as reservoirs for cross factors, cytokines, and alpha granules, which contain cell adhesion molecules. These substances are essential for healing process generated when platelets are activated. Our study assess the role of human umbilical cord to blood platelet lysate as innovative line for treatment of resistant corneal ulcers. Method and materials. Our prospective study carried out on 14 eyes aged from 6 to 6 years, 6, 6, 64, 65 years old with persistent corneal ulcer. Study was done at Mansoura of Salmic Center and Mansoura Research Center for Core Distem Cells. We take approval of Scientific Research Ethics Committee of the Faculty of Medicine has been taken to conduct our research. Patient divided into four groups. Group one, 40 eyes with dry eye. Group two, six eyes post keratoplasty. Group three, four eyes with corneal chemical pearl. And group four, 60 eyes, 16 eyes with, including post-fungal keratitis, post-COVID, post-cataract surgery, post-viral keratitis, limbal stem cell deficiency, and the neurotrophic keratitis. Firstly, called the blood bag collection, collected in obstetric unit at Mansoura University Hospital with anticoagulant citrate phosphate extrude after informed consent from mother's pain. Most, the most common exclusion criteria in cord blood bag presence of total nucleated cells to 1.5 million per mil. Inclusion criteria for cord blood bag with not more than 48 hours after collection can be used and the volume of bag more than 70 million, including the CBD, absence of visible hemolysis and the platelet concentration more than 150 million per million. Negative cord blood screening for blood transmissible infections like hepatitis B virus, hepatitis C virus, 
the new HIV virus and cephalic cytomegalovirus and toxoplasma was done. Cord blood platelet rich plasma preparations under complete sterilization in laminar a flu class two. Each unit was transferred into number of falcon tube according to the volume of paint. All tubes and fused at low speed for 10 minutes to separate platelet rich plasma from whole blood. After that, transfer platelet rich plasma to another falcon tube to be centrifuged at high speed for 15 minutes to gain two fractions, platelet poor plasma above and the platelet pellet blue. After that, we suspend platelet pellet in platelet poor plasma to get platelet concentrate ranged from 600 to 1 million and 200 platelets per million. After that, storing them in minus 18 freezer. To prepare platelet, to prepare cold plug platelet lysate from platelet concentrate, samples undergo three cycle, three cycle of freezing, minus 18, after that, sewing 37 degree to lysing a platelet and release gross factors which is present in alpha granules. After, after that, centrifugation occurred at high speed for about 15 minutes. Supernatant, which is rich by gross factor, kept in eye, put a drawbar in freezer minus 20. Of thermic assessment, after informed consent from a patient itself, all patients undergo complete ocular examination that includes best collective visual acuity and the slate lamp biomicroscope. Patients were checked daily for first week, then weekly until epitherization was complete. Slate lamp image collected on each visit. Slate lamp micrometer was used for measuring the greatest diameter of corneal ulcer along two perpendicular axes. Healing defined a completion of epitherization accompanied by symptoms elevation. Improvement defined as diminution in corneal ulcer, tips or size, but the resistance with no improvement or reduction in ulcer area more than 18 days was diagnosed as failure. Patients given three bottles of cord blood platelet lysate at each visit and instructed to store them in freezer. One bottle was sold daily to be used in the same day and to preserve it in refrigerator. Patient is instructed to administer eye drops four to six times throughout the day. Follow up every three days to check tolerance for treatment and signs of improvement. Results group one was a statistically significant improvement in the visual acuity post treatment with B value. 0.001 complete healing occurred in 71.4% of patients. Improvement occurred in 26.6% of patients, and failure of treatment does not occur in this group. Group A, group, 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 group A, group one, show which, which is try I showing in this. Resistant corneal ulcer for one month. And this figure P showing after one week, figure P and figure C. Complete healing. Group T, group two, was a statistically significant improvement in visual acute post treatment with P value 0.003. Complete healing occurred in 66.7% of patients improvement occur in 33.3% of patients and failure of treatment does not occur in any case. Group two showing figure A, post-keratoplasty resistant corneal ulcer. P, one week after using cord blood abdated lysate and C, cord blood after two weeks which showing complete healing. Group three was a statistically significant improvement in visual apparatus treatment with B value 
zero fourteen complete healing of care in fifteen percent of patients, improvement of care in fifteen percent of patients, and failure does not occur in this group. This figure three showing corneal chemical resistant corneal ulcer. This is due to chemical third and P showing two days after using platelet lysate and C showing one week after platelet lysate. Group four, statistically significant improvement in the visual acuity post treatment with B value 0.001. Complete healing of care in 62.5% of patients and improvement of care in 12.5%. Five of percent of patients and failure of care in 25% of patients. Two cases due to limbal stem deficiency and two cases due to neurotrophic keratitis. This figure showing a persistent corneal ulcer with fungal keratitis. B, two weeks after using cordial blood with it, like I said, eye drops with showing complete healing. Discussion, platelet activation, either chemically or physically, results in production of bioactive molecule that play an essential role in regeneration of tissue. These substances have receptor interaction in tissue microenvironmental that can lower inflammation and activate growth-related signaling pathway, which is promoting healing. Therefore, Product containing human platelet lysate have developed as alternate treatment for a number of ocular surface conditions like corneal ulcer and the dry eye. Autologous plug has been used in ocular condition in many studies in the past. Earlier, researchers found other peripheral blood contain greater concentration of inflammatory marker than cordial blood plasma that may aggravate corneal ulcer conditions. Cordial blood plasma includes chemicals not seen in peripheral blood, such as molecules of natural killer group to ligands, which are in part responsible for natural killer, natural killer T, and the T cell suppression. This characteristic promotes the preferred use of cordial blood in disorders characterized by apparent inflammation and autoimmune ocular surface disorder that are commonly associated with corneal ulcer. Conclusion, our study demonstrates the usefulness of cordial blood eye drops generated from platelet lysate as a novel therapeutic blood component with unique growth factors and anti-inflammatory compounds that could be utilized to treat chronic corneal ulcer. This work was done by team Dr. Rania Kamil Farah of Salmology in Ophthalmology Center, Faculty of Medicine, Mansour University, Egypt, Dr. Merva Daoud, Clinical Pathologist, Mansoura Research Center for Core Distem Cell, Mark CST, Faculty of Medicine, Mansour University, and Dr. Mahir Al Esawi, Obstetrics and, Gyneco and Gynecology, Faculty of Medicine, Mansoura University, Egypt. Thanks. Thank you so much, Dr. Mavit. It was a very interesting research. Um, the forum is open. If